Are you interested in one of our new NC tape heads? This video will help you measure your current tape head so you can fill out our universal tape head adapter form. First, fill out the name of the direct contact, phone number, email address, company, and select if you are a distributor or end user. Next, identify which machine you are planning on using. Fill in the serial number and select the model of your machine from the brands listed below. Next, identify your tape head's size and orientation and if it will need a low tape or no tape sensor. Now it's time to record your tape head and machine dimensions. In this demonstration, we will be using two types of measuring tools, a measuring tape and a caliper. Note how the tape head is mounted in your current machine. There are several ways to identify this information. First, you must detach the tape head from your machine. Does your tape head have grooves at each end? Does your tape head have studs or pins attached to it? Finally, is the tape head attached to your machine with screws? Once you remove the screws from the tape head, you will need to measure their diameter and length and record this information on the survey form. To help us develop the correct tape head mounting system, please attach photos of your current tape head and how it is mounted into the machine using a tape measure for reference. Now let's measure the different components of your tape head. On your survey form, you will find different lettered questions to answer. You will only need to fill out the letters that pertain to the type of tape head you have. Please skip ahead to the section that pertains to your tape head. This section will have timestamps for you to skip ahead to the pertaining sections. If you selected Groove, you only need to fill out letters C, H, and I. C is the width of the current tape head. H is the width of the tape head cavity on your current machine. I is the length of the tape head cavity on your current machine. If you selected studs, you only have to fill out letters A through I. A is the length between the two centers of the studs. B is the height from the bottom of the tape head to the center of the studs. C is the width of the current tape head. D is the width of the two shoulders of the studs. E is the width of the two ends of the studs. F is the diameter of the end of the stud. G is the width of the end of the stud. H is the width of the tape head cavity on your machine. I is the length of the tape head cavity on your machine. If you selected screws, you only have to fill out letters A, B, C, D, H, and I. A is the length between the two centers of the studs. B is the height from the bottom of the tape head to the center of the studs. C is the width of the current tape head. D is the width of the two shoulders of the studs. H is the width of the tape head cavity on your current machine. I is the length of the tape head cavity on your current machine. Now that you have successfully identified and measured your current tape head, we can begin the process of replacing your old tape head with a brand new NC tape head. If you have any questions, please reach out to a BestPak representative or certified sales distributor.